The UK may be under snow, but in complete contrast, it's horribly hot on Alex Thompson's boat as he heads up towards the Cape Verde Islands, the single-handed round-the-world yachtsman in this long and arduous race, the Vendée Globe. It's day 69 of the competition, which involves racing 35,000 miles around the world in very challenging conditions. He's just past the equator and is about 3,000 miles from dry land. We can speak to him now from the North Atlantic Low Ocean. I must warn you, though, there is about a six-second delay, so bear with us here as we cross now. And I can tell you to the Northern Hemisphere, and we welcome a clean-shaven Alex Thompson back into the Northern Hemisphere. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Hiya, Mike. I'm pleased to be able to make some water and get rid of that beard. I was... Uh... Really feeling like Captain Pugwash then, you know. <laughs> I mean, it, it's horribly hot for you there at the moment. How do you keep cool with all that water around? You must be so tempting for a quick dip, but of course you can't do that. So how do you cool down? Uh, you just wait till the night time, you know. Uh, there's lots of water around, but it's all salt water, and the thing that my body hates is being covered in salt. So uh, when you're outside, you're normally wet. But right now, there's not much spray coming over because I'm, I'm in the doldrums. But uh, when you go down below during the day, it's 35, 40 degrees down there, and I get to, you get covered in sweat, and you get the salt then as well. So it's uh, I know it's probably a bit hard for everyone at home to feel about it, but I definitely prefer the cold to the hot. <laughs> yeah, you're missing the snow. Alex, we're always fascinated by the goings on on your boat. Tell me, do you ever hallucinate when you're on the boat? Do you talk to imaginary people? Do you have moments where you think you're starting to lose it a little bit? I have had some very vivid dreams, um, you know, I, I, I actually uh, had one very vivid dream where I was I was actually doing the practice race for the Vendée Globe, and, uh, and I was just coming in to the finish, it was all over, I had some other people on the boat, and suddenly I woke up, and uh, I realised I was only halfway around the world, I had another month and a half to go, so, yeah, I mean, I don't really hallucinate, but definitely vivid dreams. And, and tell us, how are you doing in the race, where are you, you're in fourth again? Yeah, I'm back to fourth again. My, my third place didn't, uh, I didn't last too long in third place, unfortunately. My position uh, now is uh, I'm, I'm still to the west of everybody else. I'm, I'm in fourth place, a long way from fifth place. And uh, my plan is to try and do something slightly different to the guys in front, because if I follow them, I'm never going to beat them. But you are on course, Alex, to finish perhaps within 80 days and set a new British record for this race. In fact, smashing the, the overall Vendée Globe record along with the other uh, three sailors ahead of you. So, a record in sight. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, my my, uh, my aim at the moment, so the realistic goal is to try and try and finish third, and then to uh, finish the race in, in less than eighty days. You know, that old uh, it's a very uh, it's kind of the holy grail around the world in less than eighty days. So that gives me uh, eleven days Ooh. to finish the race, but. Uh, you know, I can't wait to get home now. Exciting stuff. And just picking up on what Charlie was saying, have you done the thing where you've taken a football and drawn an imaginary face on it and then started talking to it? Has he got to that stage yet? It hasn't quite got to that stage yet, no. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to stay calm and focused. It's, you know, one of the things with these races is uh, it, it's, it's so intense, but to be uh, in a competition that lasts 80 days, you know, you really have to focus and stay... Uh, concentrated the whole time so you know that's my main thing is not to get complacent not to make any mistakes and you know make sure i get around the world this time okay alex well, i promise we are real this is not a weird dream <laughs> although it may seem like it we're not imaginary we're, re we're your real friends alex so good luck for the next week good luck alex <laughs> Thanks, we leave him to put his foot down <laughs> exactly. Thanks, yeah.